Hello everybody, hello heroes. It's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel with Whitney, which is the 15 minutes day you fuel your mind, your body, and your future. At the airport, um, just getting ready to fly home. Say hello. Hey. So we're just gonna wait for people to get on. So let me oh, get my mask on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so if you're tuning in, everybody likes when Whitney's on, so we have here. So if you're tuning in uh, to our podcast, thank you so much for doing that. Uh, episode, I believe, 48 will be on uh, tomorrow. I'm going to check that out, too. Check it out. Well, we're in an airport, so I can't apologize for the noise. It's just the way it is. Cat's on. Hey, cat. All right. My mom's on. She's always on. <laughs> yes. Hey, Jen. Good to see you. All right. So today, uh, let's talk about your day. Okay. So we're in Colorado Springs. Uh, no, we're in Denver now. Uh, we went to Colorado Springs. We were with Pete Vargas. We had a, a, a one-day mastermind on developing uh, the hero, uh, the hero legacy, and, and the message. So uh, we had a really good uh, day of clarity, which is awesome. We love it, and uh, we're just super excited what's uh, what's about to happen. So we have a lot of work to do, mm -hmm. but that's good. But we had some good clarity, All right? So today we're going to talk about running your own race, meaning that. Um, Uh, running a race, I mean, like, when, when you're going for the winner, when you're going for goals, like, run your own race. Don't, because uh, it's so easy to look to the left or look to the right, look what other people are doing. Yeah. Uh, and envy. Like, any envy and jealousy, that raw, that's toxic. And, you know, uh, I remember one time, like, someone I knew, they were coming out of the gym and they saw someone getting into a car, a medical doctor getting into a car, and he had a really nice car. And they're like, I'm his age. You know, how come I don't have a car? How come I don't have those things? And it's like you never know what that person's been through, gone through. You can't envy. Like, envy and jealousy is so toxic. You'll never, you'll never win in life because you'll always be poisoned by it. Yeah. You'll always be... And so yeah, I, you I, poison yourself, and then you hold yourself back from making yeah. a connection with that person. And I think, like, when, you, when you're envious and jealousy because you're not running your race, you're shaking your fist at God, saying, why didn't you make me like that person? Why didn't you give me... Like, why Why didn't you give me other situations? Yeah, and so not being thankful for the place that you're at. Yeah, it's and super And not taking ungrateful. ownership for where you're at because we create it. Or sometimes you say, well, if I had what that person had, things would be different. So you almost look at the person and say, well, their situation must be different than mine. Mm -hmm. But again, you never know really what that person went through. And maybe if you did, you definitely won't, you wouldn't want to be in their shoes. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you know... Um, you know, how do you know that person that has all those things? They might have, you might have a, an amazing marriage and that person doesn't. Like, you, yeah. you just can't, unless you know the full story. Yeah. That's why you just run your race. You know, I wrote that book, Winning, Winning Your Race, which is like, what is, that's the whole hero message, right? It's like you've been given unique gifts and talents. Uh, embrace that, be proud of that. And I think that's where the embracing the hero mindset comes in because it's you being proud of that and saying, I am going to go forward with this on my terms, mm -hmm. right? And making it happen. And then choosing that vehicle of influence to serve the world. And despite what people think is rational or irrational or is a good idea or not, you just know in your heart, listen, this is your race. Like, you control it. And, right? And then all the, and you could course correct, but at the, at the end of the day, I think the gratification of that win. Like, you guys were all doing that one goal, right, this month. So, you know, when you're doing well or when you're completing it, it's like, you should feel proud of that, that you did that. You know, yes, we need help from our friends and family members to, for some of the goals we have. But it's like, it's so nice to know that you did it because it's something you desired, not because you were trying to, you know, be like the Joneses next door. Mm -hmm. you know? What do you have to say about that? I agree. Yeah, oh, Woody's no. super tired. I look really tired. Dang, no, no, what, what, so what Woody's doing is she's looking, she's looking at herself <laughs> I know, in the video, like, and she's getting sleepy because... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was already yeah. sleepy. I was already sleepy. Now I'm just getting sleepy. No, yes, yeah, this, is, this is like you're going to your zone. <laughs> <laughs> you're envious of somebody else I'm envious right of my <laughs> self two days ago. <laughs> no, today was awesome. It was really good. You could look at me the whole time if you were. I'm not time. really looking at myself. You All, all you're doing to. is looking at yourself right now. <laughs> I never really did. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you? definitely... Stop. Yeah, so definitely running your own race. It's so easy to get caught up in what is this person doing? What is that person doing? I mean, that's what Facebook 
can oh, right. seem to be all about is like looking over Facebook or looking over Instagram and seeing what people are doing, but that's just the part of that person that they want to portray at that moment. So we can't just get caught up in that. We have to realize, well, that's just one part of that person. That's not that whole person, you know? So it's, it's just a snapshot of that moment. Even reality TV, it's just a snapshot of the moments that that the producer wants to show us. So that's, you know, so we can't can't compare our lives to other people. I we mean, just yeah, have to. Facebook should be entertaining. Yeah. But yeah. definitely don't get mad. And I'm sure everybody, including ourselves, I mean, like everybody's got pissed off looking at Facebook. Oh, yeah, for because sure. Because either, either A, there was something you but didn't want to see. I look at it different now. Yeah, I or think B, I used to. Yeah, you, you were waiting I for something to happen. To. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely used to. That's why I wasn't on Facebook for like four years or so because I would look at it and I would just get get offended or get mad or be like, oh, I want to be at that whatever, at that seminar or what, you know. And, or they're uh, having fun and we're not. Or they're having fun and we're not. <laughs> Let's look be what they're Yeah, look what they're doing. Yeah, look what they're doing this weekend and we're just being at home being lame, you know. Yeah, I know. We did that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so tell you, how was your day? So tell them what we did today. You already did. So we met, we met with Pete Vargas and just kind of went through uh, the hero message and he really like made us dig even deeper about what our mess message was going to be and um, what, you know, what are you going to bring to stages? That's the thing, like what problem are you going to solve? Because everything about the hero message is very, is very inspiring and very, um, you know, okay, we want to go out and, you know, we want to go do something, but now what do we do? You know, so that, so we really kind of honed in on, um, on on the work that we need to do. We didn't get the exact answers. We kind of have we like an outline of, of the work that we need to do now. So. And the team, you know, then. Yeah. So so in that thing that we talk about, so, you know, the vehicle, you know, the choosing the vehicle, it's almost there's a fourth pillar now, and it's like finding the thought leaders. And so there's actually this thing used to have three things to it, but now there's more like five. So four would be finding your thought leaders. So today we had to find the necessary team to do that. So there's someone that could write a course, right? So course writing. There's someone who does uh, Quick funnel. Yeah, internet stuff, you know, builds the techie side of it that I get sleepy at. Um, even someone who uh, is a booking assistant. Hey, listen, if you guys would be interested in a part-time booking assistant job, let us know because we got to find a booking assistant mm -hmm. to do that. And um, so all these things. So now it's about building the team. So see now when you look at your when you have that that dream, that goal, we, and then and then also we learned, which I need to change my phrasing, is it's about being the hero where you where you're at. You know, because in my personal circumstance, it's this hero message idea to bring to everybody else but the thing is you know I'm not telling everybody to go quit their job you know? <laughs> yeah so changing some of the yeah, so little if you guys are about, if you guys are about to quit your job don't yeah. because of me don't, yes, be a hero yeah. where you're at but yeah. what we also talked about is that every seven to ten years there's a season shift do you know yeah. what I mean like so that's even biblical like I noticed that seven years into practice I started feeling this way so it's like every seven years there's a shift a season shift so I'll start to maybe address that like that doesn't mean leave your job it might just there's a change you know, there's a shift of the way you think you know maybe when we first started working it was about one thing now so, so, so I, you're just finding me in a seasonal shift yeah. but for you it might not be a seasonal shift right and so uh, and so don't quit your job <laughs> Unless you really don't think, quit your day yeah, job, yeah, don't quit your day job, yeah. <laughs> Which we've had I, people I'm do. Not, and I'm not quitting my day job. That's the thing. And we're, but there were some people that, yeah. that did. Yeah. So it's about becoming a hero exactly where you are at. So no matter what your job is or what you're doing, if you could be your true true expression of yourself in that moment, you're going to be happy. You're going to be excited. You're going to be more fulfilled because you're being truly uh, authentic. You now someone said, "Well, how about if my job doesn't allow me to be myself?" Well, there's just a thousand different things we could go over. Thank what your job. Thank what your job. So, so I'm learning that I'm not telling you to quit your job. I'm yeah. just saying that you could be like the thing if you love singing, you know, find the time every day to sing. Like, you could do these things. Yeah, you can do out these things hobby, part time on hobby. the on, you know. Just like we're doing this part time. Yeah. I mean, you know, for now, you know, and it, but so yes, that's the two things. So number one, there's a hero sauce that I'm developing, not like an actual like an equation. <laughs> You know, that's what I'm going to call hero it. Hero pudding. Sir. Hero pudding. Hero sauce. <laughs> uh, two, thought leaders. So now I, you got to build teams. So you know those people around you. Um, 
get those people around you that can help support you. So the areas that you're foggy in. So that's what it, your team your team um, clears the fox because they're good in those areas. And then later on, we'll teach you guys that are actually uh, monetized in a way where you could do those things you love and enjoy doing. And there's an equal fair exchange of compensation, just like you go to work and you work. Yeah, when you go to work, you you do service and get exchange. So it's no different than that. You're you're just exchanging value on your terms with other people, and uh, create a bigger impact. So we really enjoy that. What you get out of it? said and then also kind of um, you know looking at the things that you've created in the past and not just writing those off because there were some things that you know there were like assets that, that we've had not many assets like uh, tools we've created or things that you've made um, that we kind of wrote off as oh we're not going to do that anymore um, but kind of you know resurrecting those or just looking at those and saying oh wow wow that was something so if you're a writer and you've written a bunch of stuff in the past and um, kind of pulling that stuff out and, and realizing that that's still relevant and that's still usable in some kind of situation. So kind of looking at what you've already created, saying, okay, how can we use that? How can we resurrect that? Um, do we need to hire someone to kind of help us, you know, help us, you know, yeah. implement it? Because that's why we stopped doing certain things, because we were stuck. We didn't have the right, we didn't have the right tools to carry out what we were thinking in the, in the beginning. So... That's that was great, another big thing. That's a that, great point. That we so, really got. so like every single one of you, every single one of you watching this, you have something that you did that is awesome, and maybe you did it privately for yourself. Maybe you painted something, and you're like, oh, that was just for you, or you wrote something. You wrote a couple stories. I know a lot of you guys write poems. Some of you guys wrote a mu some of you guys wrote some music, but it, no one knows about it. When maybe you played it once or twice, and like ah, and then you put it to the side. So there's so many things we take for granted that we actually like, there was a lot of things today that I literally had brushed under the, the carpet thinking I'm done with that, but really it's like it could all be resurrected because other people would find value in that. Just I'm just even thinking out all these articles I wrote, like even back when I was 20, it's mm -hmm. like, uh, so you, again, you don't realize the treasures you already made because you don't think they were, no one else would like them, but they really would. So that was a huge thing was, uh, and, and the reason why I didn't pursue those things is you're right. I just, uh, I, I try to go forward on my own. And I'm making, I'm not making excuses, but those fogs are like get in my way. And I just, I gave up on it. You know, I just, I didn't have the right people. Or I did, it just, you know, I, I let the, I let the circumstances do it. And, uh, you know, I gave up on it. But, you know, that doesn't mean you should too. So always, uh, so try to think of the things that you already have, the songs, the poems, some videos you did, some good ideas that you have. Like those things are still valuable. They don't die. So that's another thing I realized when you have an idea, I used to say if you don't act on it, it slowly like dies. It never dies. It's still in you. It's still yeah. in you. So, but, but maybe now's the time to pick it up again, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe the right people are at, weren't around you. So this whole thing I realized today was, team was so important, you know, just having the right team to do it, and sometimes the right team wasn't around you at that time, yeah. but that doesn't mean that idea was, uh, went void. Yeah. So. Anything else? Um, I think that one other big thing that we got was, um, like, don't take for granted the gifts that you already have, like, sometimes we're always trying to recreate something new, when actually the thing that comes really easy to you is, and it seems kind of boring to you, is actually the thing that people need so I think we're always trying to okay what's my new thing going to be what's this going to be whenever really it's probably something that's really you know more I was just uh, texting with a chiropractic wife and she had this idea and um, and I said yeah that's amazing we were kind of going back and forth and, and she was like but that's that's so easy that's you know I was like yeah exactly like it's easy to you but this is stuff that you take for granted for your life is so different and you have so much knowledge that you can share with other people, but you take it for granted. So I was, I was like, that's how you know it's the right thing to do because you think it's easy whenever this is like life-changing stuff for people. So don't take for granted, you know, the things that come easy to you. You know, those are usually the things that are your gifts and talents. And we have to hone them and work yeah. on them, obviously, develop those. But, um, that's the right question. It's like sometimes your gifts and talents are so easy to you and boring to you, you don't even realize them. And then when you look back, you're like, wow, these things, there was almost a formula, wink, wink, a formula that was, you clearly were doing over and over again, 
but you don't you can't even name it because you you don't even realize it. So that's the big thing. It's like wow, well, so that whole thing is in, it was in you and fun. it's the whole thing remembering. The whole thing is about remembering, um, remembering those ideas, those things that you are really great in. And the thing is, though, if you could really be able to crystallize that. There's so many people that need to hear that because they're struggling in an area that you would think is easy or boring. So many people wish their problems could be boring and easy like yours, you know? Okay, I think that's good. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for our airport version of 15-Minute Fuel. And so today, still one other thing is about, uh, you know, running your own race. So that's the thing. It is your race. Uh, you could run a race with a big team. That really helps, too. But I don't envy or become jealous of what other people have because you just don't know what's really going on. So just be grateful and do your thing. And uh, don't. And also at the same time, if you're running your race, you don't let other people uh, talk sense into you. That's the worst thing. To do. So uh, just just go about it and just follow your what, what makes you excited. If you're still excited about it, remember we talked about the other day. When you run your race, you're going to have self doubt. I had a lot of self doubt yesterday. And the reason why you have self-doubt or you get nervous or, or depressed is because you're lacking a little bit of uh, clarity and you just need to make a decision. So today was clarity. So I got... Don't you feel better today? Oh, I feel so much better. I feel like I... Yeah, I feel great. You know, so... Uh, and But the thing is, I have clarity and a lot, a lot of work to do. But I'd rather do work towards something I know than, than just to sit and wonder, well, what should I do? Because it's, it's very... That's, that gets you depressed when you have no clarity. Then you oscillate. So if you are feeling overwhelmed, make a decision and uh, just ask the right questions of clarity. And then, you know, this is where other people, so Whitney is a big help today because she sees things in me and I see things in her that I don't, you don't see yourself. So this is where having like a really good, solid team around you. What I mean, like the one or two people that aren't yes people, they're the people that are going to tell you um, the truth and that you know you can trust. You know what? I, I, it's okay if you don't have one. I, I get it because that's very... Those are, you might, if you could count one or two in your life, mm -hmm. so you're, you know, well, my wife is. Well, that's why hiring a coach is really yeah. important. If you don't have a person like that in your in your life, um, hiring someone to be that person. Is cool. A good option. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. We're we're uh, about to head off, and we'll see you tomorrow. You want any closing statements? No. Yeah. Yeah. All right, God bless, guys. Bye. Did it be?